American mukbang is our theme, and we were talking about this because we've always toyed with the idea of doing a mukbang. This is the word to go, yo. Can you see you're watching God TV? It's America's birthday, and you're with me, Lisa and Bowski. Hit that like button and subscribe today. So you never miss us each and every Wednesday. And just for that one last reminder, you can't forget. Hit that bell. Oh, my God. Cause you're watching your girls. I always I play at our national. <laughs> I I'm actually got goosebumps from that. I got goosebumps on the fly. Right, that I wish I had wrote something better, but I could not have. You're welcome. Happy birthday, America, ladies. Let's do it. Let's, let's, it, let's do, it. do it. And guys, we got some like uh, exciting stuff. We have podcasts. You can listen to all our flubs, the unedited version. Mm -hmm. Thanks to AW, what is it? A Wrestling Gal, A Wrestling Gal, LF. And um, yeah, and also to um, join our Hottie Totties, the subscriptions. Yes. Get the juicy, juicy versions. Yeah, get the that membership, baby. Get it, get, get it, it, girl. Get, get it, get it. Just take it, just take it. And big shout out to Tony LaRusso for yep. doing our new intro and outro. Amazing. He is working his butt off um, to make our show uh, lively and, and exciting. And we're just so excited to have him on board. Mm -hmm. We are. He's done such a great job. And we must say that we are also very happy that you would join us on the 4th slash 5th of July, because we're celebrating all year, just like Pride. I mean, we have American Pride. We have LGBTQIA plus Pride. We got all the Pride, okay? Yeah. We're the most prideful ladies on the U to the tube. And I'll tell you what, um, this is going to be so much fun. And listen, yeah. I love our show. I love when we have guests, and God bless them, okay? Just like God bless yeah. America. But yeah. when it's just us ladies, things get a little giggly, and silly and that is today's theme for america's birthday happy birthday america happy birthday happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. hbd hbd by the way don't ever wish me an hbd on my birthday i hate people say that yeah. right if you can't write a happy birthday then just like don't wish me happy birthday it's you better than it, it's as amy schumer would say it's better than hbv it is <laughs> she's so right oh my gosh her new comedy special is real funny by the way oh yes by the way yes She's I'm, so I'm sure she's dying to get on God TV. We'll try to get through her emails. She's been sending them all the time. Uh, God bless her. Ames, we'll get to you. No, we love her. Ames. Um, Ames. She's a, she is a gone and a half. But I got to tell you guys, American mukbang is our theme. And we were talking about this because we've always toyed with the idea of doing a mukbang, which originated in South Korea. And a lot of uh, YouTubers especially have done this as an eating on camera kind of thing. In Korean, it means mukbang means eat cast or eat show. And we thought, why not do it in a fun, lively way, as Lisa said, with some American favorites, some sweet treats, some savory treats, mm -hmm. and some adult treats. So cheers, and you better, listen, if this cheers. is anything you're drinking on this show, you better pour yourself a cocktail. I have my red Solo cup. I yes, you do. That's very American. Party. What's more American than that? And I'll tell you, uh, we do appreciate all of our live chatters. If you're new to the show, every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern, the show premieres, and we're watching with you in the live chat. Hi, chatters. Hello. Hi, everybody. And if you're not new Hello. here, you know that our favorite part of the show, uh, which we can elaborate this time because it's just us ladies, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. We do, who are you wearing? What are you drinking? But because it's American mukbang, we're going to go, who are you wearing? What yep. you drinking? And what you eating, ladies? Let's go to Lisa first with her fabulous setup, which is looking very stable at this point, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you at this point, right? Kind of got crooked, though, Val, a little bit, right? A little bit. Uh, 
Yeah, a little, a little bit, a little bit. I am okay. Who am I wearing? I'm just wearing um two tank tops. Oh. I try to put I, I try to put two outfits together, and I asked David, I does, does this look good? He goes, you always look cute, and that means it's not so great, right? And it's like when they, they say fine, you look fine. It's like why don't you just well, smack me in the mouth? Like I look that's fine. Cute. That's cute, and I'm like. Oh not cute it's not cute and so it was hot in my apartment too but um i'm wearing my glasses i'm recycling it from last year and the year before fourth of july and i'm not recycling my little bow from last year and the year before as well you know we're all about recycling i'm surprised the batteries still work yeah i did guess what um i didn't pull it out last time when we had it on the show oh i know i know but um i'm glad you went to me first Val, because I need to put my prescription glasses on because these are, I, there's no, there's no lens. I'm oh. pulling, a, a, I'm pulling an Oliver uh, twist on this show. Yep. But, and I'm also um, drinking out of my Cubs um, jar, my Mason jar. It uh, says, I ain't the lady to mess with. Oh. Champ, champion number one. Lee, uh, it says, oh, Lisa Marie, my hero. And it's made by uh, Sadie Hawkins. She made us a candle box from uh, the Square Circle Expo. Remember? Oh, uh, yeah, remember? I remember. With the soap yes. and stuff in it. Oh, yeah. my gosh, yes. That beautiful yes. box of, like, handmade. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, oh, yes. So follow. Yes, yeah, she, she's starting her own store. So follow Sadie Hawkins. We'll put her link below. And she made me this lovely mason. And she actually has a tattoo of her my me on her forearm right here. So um, thank you to her mom for allowing you to do that. That's yeah. Amazing. That's oh, what am I eating? What am I, what am I eating? I got a uh, chicken pot pie, little mm. corn dog with mustard on there. Good old Costco Marie calendars. Uh, uh, okay. Air fryer, air fryer. Take it out of the tin, put it on aluminum foil, flip it over back into this little tin it comes in to get the other side so it's not wilty or a uh, little like too soggy on the bottom and i like wow. my corn in the air fryer as well and um yeah and i got my shot ski ready for you guys when we're yes. ready to oh, go i forgot i am the shot master today omg yeah. oh that That's is you, so basically if you guys don't know what that is that means mickey has all the power at any given moment you better get your shot ready now any given moment, she can pull out her Shopmaster power card and tell I us. I have the power. To do it. She's got the power. Oh, Lisa good. says, this is mukbang. We demand that you take a bite of the food and you let us know how it is. Yep. Right now? Me? Taste yes. test. Do it. Do it. Taste test. Taste test. Do it. Mmm. Is that how you have your corn dog? Air fry. The air fryer. That's the corn dog from Costco. Hold on. That's how you out. eat the corn dog? No, I just didn't want a phallic symbol on our show. So. <laughs> She's so, not wrong. I was going to say, that's not. Hold no, on. no. I was trying to be like PG we a know, little bit. You know? We know what memes y'all are going to make. So don't make this weird. We just like food. Okay, don't be weird about it. And then oh. my, 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 my chicken pot pie, which is mm. amazing in the air fryer, you guys. Amazing. It's crispy. Oh, the delish. I love when I was cooking this, I was like, hurry up, you guys. I'm starving. I'm already hungry. Smelling I'm hungry, the food. too. Oh, I love chicken pot pie, too. Me you know who too. does a really good chicken pot pie and you wouldn't know? Not even. Yeah. KFC. <laughs> really? KFC. Really? KFC has a I thought you were going to say Cracker Barrel. Oh, they do have a pot pie. I actually have Ooh. a really good pot pie that I do. You do? You make it I by hand? Them. I make it by hand. Well, I don't make the pie crust by hand, but I get like the pie crust and then I get, you know, where it comes like two to a pack and then I make the inside and cut up the mm. chicken or turkey. I've done turkey leftover for on Thanksgiving and made like a turkey pot pie. Oh, um, but then I get the phyllo pastry and put that on the top, you know, where you unroll it and then you put the phyllo pastry on the top and then you seal it with that and put like a few little and it's nice and crusty and, you know, like and flaky, flaky crust. Yeah. Can can I have that recipe? Maybe we should do a, a exclusive um juicy juicy of you cooking it. Yeah. I'd love the recipe to give to Alan. That would be <laughs> awesome. Yes. Mickey, do yeah. you want to go next? Um, I will go next. I will say that I bought, I told you I'd called you 
both like or or voxed you like two weeks ago because I was so excited. I was in Walmart and I had hit the um Fourth of July, you know, decoration sale, and I bu- bought a bunch of stuff that I had s- that then bought for today's episode and set aside. Um, and I've somehow lost it. I've lost it, but that's okay because you know what? Next year, I have America <laughs> stuff. I still had America stuff. I got this sweet bandana, very taker esque, as Val would say. It's my it taker, is. taker Dana. Um, American, you're, wait, he's the American badass. You're the Native American badass, and that I, better be trending by the end of this episode. I am the Native American badass. I don't I, roll I, in on a Harley. I roll on, in on my horse. Yeah, oh my God. little horse. Keep galloping, 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 yeah. galloping. Keep galloping, galloping, galloping. Gall- or maybe trotting, 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 trotting. Trot. New that is a, ideas. That's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt, Nikki. Native American badass. It's going to be you know how, like, coming take soon to, do that, to collar like and that. elbow. Yeah. And Mickey, you know him and you know the fabulous Michelle McCool, by the way, who was on our show. It's a great episode. Go back and look. That's why you should be subscribed. Just saying. He would love that. You got to do it. Oh, my gosh. You think he would love it? I think he yes. would love it. Yeah. He's yeah. Well, okay. I've met him. He's fabulous. He, I, he Maybe he would love it. We'll see. I think he might. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do it and then hope he loves it. Perfect. And if he doesn't, I'll pretend like I didn't know that he didn't love it. Yeah. Then this never <laughs> happened. <laughs> Val did not suggest a damn thing. Yeah. And then I made some good old fashioned sweet tea. God bless. In my Dixie cup, I got sweet tea. Bless made your heart. It fresh for today. Mmm. Um, is this a Dixie or a solo? I feel like this is a solo cup. This is a solo cup. <laughs> um and then i have my in my fourth of july plate here i have a hamburger with swiss onions and barbecue sauce mm. um i have some french fries but we know they're not french right they're not they're some freedom american fries. fries america right. i have some freedom fries i have some sliced cucumbers Oh, that one I did missed it up. I have some sliced cucumbers here. And my favorite food at any cookout, the hot dog with yes. onion, a little bit of onion, a little bit of relish, a yep. little bit of ketchup, and some spicy mustard. What what are you gonna try? The hot dog first. Okay, give us give us your, okay, your things, okay. Jess. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's cold. Is it cold? A little mm-hmm. cold. <laughs> it's so good. All Interesting. beef. All beef. Give me that damn turkey dog. No. Give yeah. me that ballpark. It pumps when you cook it. It does. You got to nice to it. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm going to go on a venture. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go out on a limb and we can take a poll right now. I know a lot of people preach about the Nathan hot dog. And I know it's a good hot dog. It is a good hot dog. But it doesn't touch the ballpark. No. It doesn't. Ballpark is better. We well, all why, have, why have hot dogs gotten so fancy over the years? That's what I want to know. Like, I have, I have, I have, I have, can I tell you too? It's Undertaker. Um, since we were talking about Undertaker, Michelle McCool would uh, make fun of me because my favorite stop when we were traveling and going town to town to town, I like the gas station hot dogs and the ones yeah. that's been on there for a long time that's burnt and mm-hmm. shriveled. Uh, it's extra salt. Oh yeah, no, no. That was my favorite. She goes, are you going to eat that? And I'm like, yes, I am. This is my favorite food. I I'm love the a same. hot dog. Because like with a hot dog, I want like that process. This is the thing, the things that you miss in, in uh, not living in America. And if you guys are just tuning into this situation, I live in England now. And I have, that's why I've gone, you'll see in a sec. That's why I've gone so overboard and over the top because I'm so homesick and I love all my American products. And you miss the weirdest things. I miss like the processed stuff. My mouth is, I'm, I have saliva down my, I can't. I miss so many American things. <laughs> and you know what I love more than anything? The cheap ass cheese dogs that have cheese like pumped through the middle. God Ooh. bless. Okay. I loved those as a child. I did love those. I and love I do them now. Love, I don't like the gas station hot dogs. I will say, Lisa, because I don't know that they're all beef hot dogs. I know when I buy the pack of ballparks and it says all beef, I know I'm getting all beef, but I do like them burnt. Yeah, I don't want too. it boiled. I want it either cooked, like where the, the skin is blackened almost. Yeah. 
Maybe even start in a bubble. I don't mind the bubbles. That's, yeah, me too, me too. Like tan mom style. Like That's real why bubble. you need to do air fryer. You cook the hot dog in the air fryer. It gets that burnt outside. I do slices on it. So the inside gets a little crispy too. And it oozes out that grease from the middle. The air fryer Genius. is the best invention yeah. ever. 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 <laughs> I know. We have one. And I got to tell you, yeah. Alan uses it all the time and I enjoy it. Um, I'm hungry now. Yeah, keep going. We got, This is my thing. We can eat all night. I'm actually, we, we timed this very well because I'm hungry too. I don't even know where to start on what I have. We've been showing pictures of everything and I will show you a picture now of my oh, smorgasbord. Hey, you're, you want your, what, drink it what you're wearing first. That's oh, the, what you're drinking? Yeah. Okay, good, good point. So um, I, I'm just wearing my natural hair. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> because here, here, here's, here's a crazy tip. If you live away from America for so long, this just happens to you. And then you're like, oh my God. Look at me. You wake up and you're patriotic from the roots down. So there's that. <laughs> a couple of little little barrettes, if you will. A uh, little American flag scarf. And uh, I am drinking, I, I am following your, your foot in your footsteps, Mickey. I am drinking vodka with sweet tea, which is oh. southern sweet tea uh, flavoring and some, some sparkling water, um, which is from the best place in America. It's from Walmart. It's great value. Oh. You know it's good. A little great value. It's not a yeah. good value. It's a great value. That's a giant store ball bottle. It is large, just like America. We like things yeah. big and sweet and <laughs> full of vodka. So cheers to that. That's fun. Um, I got prepared as well. You've seen the smorgasbord. Um, I'll later show you. I have a whole bag of things that I'll get to later, American things that I bring back. Uh, this is one of them. This is my big papa. Pickle. Pickle. Dill pickles you cannot get in England. Dill, no. They don't get it. No. Wow. Don't get they it. Don't. They nope. Don't do it. Nope. They call it a gherkin. I'm like, stop. Um, oh, yeah. This is my American little plate, and I've got my favorite. This is like currency. I'm drooling again. This is like currency to me. Cheez-Its. Mm. What's the way to my heart? I, I would be like, what's your last meal? I'm like, it's a bowl of Cheez-Its. That's all. Uh, I've got tortilla chips because um, Alan was lovely enough to make me guacamole. Ah. Onion dip, which is very Thanksgiving-y. I, I love that. And some salsa as well. So lots of chips and dip. That's also the way to my heart. And I have, uh, you guys, it's so funny because we all thought American food. And what did we get? A hot dog. Doggy dog. Doggy dog. dog. That's dog. a big one. It's a big one. I've got caramelized onions that Alan made from scratch. I don't know what he did. Wow. They were in a pot. I don't understand. Uh, mustard. I got ketchup. And I got French's fried onions on the top for the crunch factor. And I'm going to tell you how it is right now. Home sweet home. America. America. Home of the hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dig. Oh, she misses home. Miss home. It's okay. It's, it's so yeah. good. It's so good. I love it's, a hot dog. I know. I'm not, I'm not hard to please with that. I was going to tell you, Lisa, by the way, when you're talking about what you're wearing, you're giving me major Spider-Man vibes. Do you see that too, Mickey? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just noticed that, um, when I put, I didn't, I couldn't see with this, these. And then when I put my prescription ones on, I noticed the Spider-Man, um, the gimmick. But yeah. you guys, it's interesting enough, you guys are eating hot dogs in Chicago, taboo to put ketchup on a hot dog yeah what? it's not a chicago dog yeah you do no. well chicago's also like to put like a whole pickle on their hot dog oh yeah we yeah. i love the pickles oh my god and the hot peppers and seasons mm. mm. just it's so delicious but you know what I'm, I'm i love hot dogs so much i don't care if it has barbecue sauce odb's barbecue sauce jr's mm. barbecue sauce I don't care. I love hot dogs. That's is my. Is that what you miss most from Chicago, Lisa? Because you're all going in California. So what? What food? What, about food? what food oh, do you miss? Oh, Italian beefs in Chicago. Mm. What? With hot peppers. Um, they're, they're 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 actually sweet peppers, which is a little mild. Like um, it's Italian beef in a French roll, and they put au jus, like mm. sauce. Like, au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Bless you. <laughs> no i miss italian beefs the italian the little italy was like remarkable wow yeah. Mickey, what do you miss I'm from virginia because you're in nashville now nashville has amazing food by the way but 
I miss uh, my mama's cooking. I miss Southern oh. food. I miss oh. the fried chicken. I miss the mashed potatoes. I miss the gravy. I miss the fact, you know, of showing up at my mom's house and there's, you know, 10 people coming, but there's a feast for 40. I miss, um, yeah, I miss Hanover tomatoes. What's Hanover that? Hanover tomatoes. It's what is that? Uh, there are tomatoes grown in Virginia in Hanover County, Virginia. I don't know if it's the soil because I did ask my dad is coming. Uh, and my stepmom, they're coming for my dad's birthday in August. And I asked them to please bring me some Hanover tomato seeds. I said, it doesn't matter what I do. I don't, I don't care if I go to the farmer's market or whatever I do. I get tomatoes here in Tennessee. They're not the same. And she goes, Sandy goes, well, honey, you're not going to get Hanover tomatoes where you're at because you don't have Hanover soil. It's the soil. And I go, oh, okay. Oh, and you probably man. ordered that on Amazon. I can't. You can't. Hey, you and, can't. And who's, our, who's our favorite farmer that we had had on our show? Ooh. Oh, April. April sunrise. Sunrise. Yeah. What's the thing she always says? She's so I love her. She says, "Um, come on." When she's doing a recipe, she tells you what she's doing. Yeah. She goes like when she's ready, she goes, "Come on." Ah. Yeah. She's. I follow her so closely that it comes up first on my feed on my Instagram, and I share it. She goes. Oh, so thank you so much. You always DM. Thank you so much. And I go, it's it's just, it's inspiring, like, to be able to grow something. I live in downtown San Diego in my window. And, like, she's amazing. I still have not made that homemade wine, you guys. Oh. Um, need to do it. I've never made my own homemade wine. If, if I could make homemade wine, I don't think y'all would see me ever again. But she gave us the Probably. recipe. And higher on her yeah. own supply. She gave it's us the, the recipe. Time. Remember that? Remember? Yeah. I she bought I bought the recipe. jars and the sugar, and I did, I couldn't find a juice that I was like I really want this flavored wine. It's like I'm scared to get a certain like juice that I'm like, ooh, this is gonna taste really bad. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah. you can get a recipe um following her, and the link is below. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, ladies. Well, you remember how we used to do um which I don't know why we stopped doing just, you know, we've tried different things, by the way, if you guys liked some of the stuff we used to do, you want us to bring it back, we can do it. But we used to do something called a dance break. Um, mm -hmm. and I will tell you that I think because it's American mukbang, I think we should do what we're going to call an eat and break. What do you think ladies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. waiting for you to sell it oh my, i don't have my prescription glasses on is there something in my teeth no huh. he looks so pretty remember <laughs> bridesmaids he looks yeah so <laughs> you've never looked more beautiful speaking <laughs> of beautiful as nikki g says we always talk about food and we get hungry on the show at least we now we can partake in eating on the show mm -hmm. very good point well, you know, honestly, naming babies is really hard. Not only like I remember naming Donovan, it was uh, I felt like we finally figured out a name. And then once we decided on the name, we didn't tell anyone. But my mom named me Mickey Lurie. And then she named my sister Latoya Natasha. And then she tried to say that it was Russian. And I'm like, wait, we're Native American. My dad is not. Daddy's not Russian. Aww. Unless he was a milkman. Well, Just kidding I'm just kidding. It Those names good. are beautiful. And can I tell yeah, you a I secret? Did. And I don't want to sound really dense here. I always I feel really dumb. I'm like, I'm I'm so close with you guys. And I don't know that I ever realized that Larie was your middle name. And that's why you're Alexis Larie. I did not either. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I feel stupid too. I did not, did know, you not that know that, that either. Nobody nope. knows my, a lot of people don't know my, my middle name where they, or when I say like, oh yeah, well, they're like, what's your middle name? I go, Lurie. And even Gail at the wedding, she so goes, that's pretty. why it was Alexis Lurie. And I go, yeah. okay, so I don't feel so bad. Why Alexis? Why Alexis? Was it a dinosaur? I always, I just loved the name. I loved the name oh. Alexis. I thought it was cool and it was someone different. You know how like, 
I feel like when you break into wrestling, or at least when I was breaking in, I like and it's an escapism, right? And so you're escaping your reality to become someone bigger than who you are in real life. And in my eyes, Alexis was a star. Alexis could go and do all of these things. Mickey was just like a little girl from Montpelier that, you know. Aww. So it was. it's weird and it's ironic I think that by the time I got to WWE, Vince hated the name Alexis. He said it sounded like a stripper name. He didn't like it, which oh. I was like, oh, that's ironic. Yeah, but yeah. At the same time, I go, okay. And then when they asked me what my name, well, do you have any other ideas? Because I was about to debut. They're like, do you have any other ideas for your name? Like whatever your name could be. And I go, mm, I don't maybe, I don't know. What about Mickey? Mickey James and they're like it's so unique I don't know anyone named Mickey I threw out my real name thinking like there's no way in hell they're gonna let me be yeah. me, be my real god-given birth certificate name government name yeah no way. lucky super lucky he yeah loved it. and he goes I love that and then I love that, <laughs> love that. <laughs> I can't <laughs> <laughs> you know that no one in the universe i don't care it, it, anyone that's met him especially but even people that are wrestling fans and i've like been around everyone actually physically like the rest shaking his hand or anything but everyone who mentions vince more than any other character and person in wrestling even macho man they can't mention vince without doing the voice i know oh, it's impossible i don't i don't do it right but yeah i don't need a lot anything. of people have a lot of bad things to say about vince and let him say whatever but i'll be honest like there were times when I go like that moment right there where I could, he could have come up with how about uh, Mickey Yames or something else or, or Nikki Yames or whatever. And it'd been like, Oh, I hate that. Whatever. There's been a lot of times where, uh, you know, he was awfully kind to me, you know, in those senses. He was, he was like, nice like, to me too. Storyline. Yeah. 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 He and was listen, always good to me. Like always kind to me. Called me personally on the phone you know, for different things. And like, you know, he is a stand up uh, dude with, in that respect. And yeah. the man can dress. Fuck yeah, Tell you that much. My favorite parts of ever being backstage never be the handful of times I was, I was like, oh, this is a G man. And I'm sorry, that mustache, you want to love it or hate it. Just be honest, you love it. Of course you do. It I is don't. dapper. <laughs> it is I exotic. Don't. I don't. You don't love it? I don't. God, I have so many daddies. I don't love the mustache. I'm like, he doesn't need to. He's Vince McMahon. And yeah. You know, it, it, I feel like he should be selling tickets, you know, like you you pull off the tickets here and for mustache rides. You know, it's like rapid tickets. I don't know if it's it's if it's he he looks like a bit like a Latino salsa yeah. dancer, which yes, <laughs> things of two. Or that I have daddy issues. It's all working. I really like it. Maybe really you do. like it. And I, I don't. I don't look at it like that, uh, Val and Mickey. I don't. I'm like I go. If you want to grow a mustache, go ahead. You get bored of looking at yourself in the mirror. Like we always yeah, uh, grow a mustache. I want. I want bangs. I right. feel like I need to change my look. Like I. I, I don't look at that too. Isn't it enough. funny though? Like a woman can do that. Like oh, I'm. I thought I just want to be blonde. I want to try that out. And yeah. Like, oh, blonde and nobody really. They go like oh, she dyed her hair blonde. Oh. I mean, they may have an opinion on it, but nobody thinks yeah. anything of really of it. A man can go from having a grizzly Adams beard to he shaves his face clean and they're like, oh, you shaved. Yeah. <laughs> or like they grow something, grow a mustache or trying to go tea out. And like, we'd make this like, oh, I hate it, whatever. We don't really make a big fuss about when women do it, but when men no. do it, yeah. it's like a big deal. That's a good it's point. A it's like we're right. allowed yeah. to play and they're not. Yeah. 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 You know, go for it. You be you, boo. I've never played yeah. with my hair. As I said, I'm wearing my natural colors. Yeah. <laughs> so natural. Yeah. They're oh natural is what they know about you. Natch. <laughs> so it's natch. You know what? I but, think that calls for. I know, pal. I know that you have a list of questions for us, and it's going to get deep, and and it's going to get serious. But since I am the shot master, after all, <gasps> yeah. We're going to go old school because, you know, Native American badass at work. Yep, Native American badass old mini take over here. <laughs> mini take. Oh, my God. Under Mickey. That, 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 that sounds creepy. No, don't don't use that. <laughs> Under Mickey is not OK. Oh, my God. It's oh, Mickey Calloway. I love you guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, by the way, you guys, before we do shot, as we do the shot, tell us in the comments, I don't care if you're a membership or not, uh, do you like when we're all three together without a guest? Because I gotta tell you, it's some of my favorite giggles and I love you it guys really so much. Is. I'm yeah. gonna get the Native American badass t-shirt. Keep galloping, galloping, keep trotting, trotting, trotting. <laughs> All right, here we go. That one I did for America. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, ladies, um, I have so enjoyed not only just seeing you guys, and again, with all respect to our guests, we love having a guest. It's so much fun that you guys could join us for our little thrice as nice slumber party. And we do love a theme, so it was nice to have a 4th of July slash 5th of July party. God bless America. Ladies, any final thoughts? I'm going to take another bite of food because this is American mukbang, and that's what we do. But lead us in a cheers, ladies. Are we doing a shot or a drink, or what are we doing? More food. Mm, uh, mm, did I do my shot? Oh, I didn't. You guys lead it. Not only I'm hungry. For like a little tiny baby shot sip. Mickey, you lead us out then. Final shot. Mukbang. Shot master, go. Hey, oh man. Thank you for joining us today and celebrating. Celebrating. Did I say celebrating? That sounds sexual. I love celebrating. it. Celebrating. America's birthday with us. We love you. Um, obviously, like, subscribe, as you always do. If you're not in America, thanks for being here and celebrating with us anyway. Um, and uh, here's to you, ladies. Here we are celebrating yeah. another Independence Day together and again. Our third, our third, our third. We love you guys. Nice. Cheers. It's nice. Cheers. Spread the word and share our show. Murica. Why? Look at I ate my whole entire chicken pot pie. This is the word to go, yo, go.